want to talk today about Bibles. Now, most Christians will, from time to time, require a new Bible. It could be that their old one has become a bit uh, worn out, or their circumstances may have changed. I use Bible software on my computer. I also use apps, like a lot of people, uh, on the phone. But I still use a printed Bible as well. The one I've been using is a large hardback uh, copy. It's wide margin. And I'm grateful to God for owning that, you know, and being able to, to use that for a number of years. But my circumstances have changed. And so recently I decided that I really needed a smaller Bible and a softback one as well. And I didn't require those wide margins for notes. So several weeks ago, I started to do research uh, into the different options available. I wanted a King James Bible. I wanted the text to be of a size that was appropriate for my eyesight. And I came across a Bible that was written in a paragraph format. And in particular, my attention was drawn to this uh, Cambridge, this new Cambridge paragraph Bible. So whereas in most older Bibles, the verses are written in columns with a new line for each verse, uh, this Bible was written in paragraphs in the same way as that we read, you know, in the same way as we find in other books. Now, although the traditional format is a good aid in referencing certain verses, in other words, you can find verses quickly with that layout still uh, i wanted i wanted something that was more more natural after some deliberation i decided to buy this bible and i'm very impressed with it and aside from being written in paragraph format there's also a useful feature whereby the uh, poetry or song that you find in the bible is indented to make those sections easy to identify. And there is uh, a margin, a small margin on each page uh, should people wish to make notes. Uh, there are also in those margins references for those who use them. I can say that this edition has transformed my reading of the Bible. It reads more naturally, it's more pleasurable to read, it's less artificial, if you like. It makes the scriptures, I believe, uh, come alive more. Now, although I hold that the understanding that we get from scriptures and the joy we experience, uh, they are spiritual matters, but we can't ignore the presentation of the scriptures either. Clarity is important. And so I wholeheartedly recommend this Bible to you if you uh, use the King James Version. The reason for this new edition of the King James Version Bible is to revisit the considerations of the translators themselves. And the editor makes the point that uh, changes were made in subsequent additions to the original. And there's even evidence that the, that the edition that first came out was, was published a bit too hastily. So the editor of this edition has tried to be more faithful to the intentions of the translators. Now, you may be thinking that this might involve substantial changes, but it doesn't. The biggest difference with this Bible is the layout. The words are the same as all the other editions, with the exception that certain spellings have been updated. So, for example, the word thine would remain as it is, because to alter that would be to change the character of the King James Bible. Whereas, the word spake, has been changed to spoke. Jesus spake, Jesus spoke. Now there will be people who object even to, to that tiny change and the ones like it. Although that objection would not be a theological one, it wouldn't be a textual one, it would be based on their liking for that particular language. Another very welcome change is the overhaul of all the punctuation. Now, this has long been a problem not addressed with the King James Bible. The punctuation is, in many cases, a little bit awkward, to say the least. 
So this edition uses quotation marks and tries to introduce punctuation that is more in line with what we'd expect today. Aside from the content for a second, the edition I have here, it's also a pleasure to own. It's, it's, an, it's an attractive little book. It's calf skin. It's, it's lovely to use. And it's got two marker ribbons and space at the front should you want to use it like as a presentation Bible. The Bible's prefaced with an introduction by the editor, the letter from the translators to the king and the translator's letters to the reader. And what the translators wanted to communicate to the reader has been left out of an awful lot of editions of the King James Bible. But it contains a real wealth of interesting information and it gives us a real insight into the thinking behind the translation. The AV is my everyday Bible. It's the one I preach from. It's the one used by my congregation. But there are some brethren who are very strictly King James only. And I would encourage those people to, to read this letter to the reader if they haven't done so already. It is a real eye-opener. Do I have anything negative to say about the, the Bible? Well, in terms of its dimensions, I'd rather this was a little bit thicker. I could handle this being thicker and therefore allow for thicker paper. The paper is fine enough that you can see the text on the other side of the page, but it's not so much that it would distract you. I noticed that when I used a highlighter pen, that it went through to the other side. So obviously I have to avoid using highlighter pens, but it was okay. I use a soft pencil for underlining verses I was interested in, and that seems to work okay. There's nothing else I can say about this edition that is remotely negative. An awful lot of research has gone into it, and so you can tell that it's reflected in the price. It's not, it's not cheap, but when you think that you buy a Bible, you, you're possibly going to be using it for you know, many years. I mean, I expect to have this for maybe you know, decades, for all I know. And so I would say that if you are in the market for a new uh, Bible, I can, I can say that if you, if you buy this one, you will not regret it, and it will definitely enhance your experience of your daily reading of the Bible. Now, I hope that very, very brief review has been of use to you. And if you have any questions that I've not addressed, or you want to make any comments, Please get in touch through the Facebook page or by email and I'll try to answer whatever questions or queries that you have. God bless.